Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Tuesday. It's whiskey day, right? I like whiskey. I like whiskey too. Hopefully you do too. So thanks for joining us and make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Today is a special whiskey day. It is International Scotch Day. I thought every day was. It should be. We should have International Scotch Whiskey Month. Year? Year of the calendar. What is it? The the leprechaun? No, that would be Irish. The, the Scottish cow? Yeah, we should make everything Scottish. Yes, it's like we should not, we should wear kilts. We oh, should. Then. No, no. Not in this weather. It's too cold. I'm wearing shorts, dude. <laughs> So today's International Scottish Whiskey Day or Scotch Day. So we are going to try a, um, a really nice, hopefully, Scotch uh, for our sample today. And this is the classic Laddie from Brulatica. Brulatic. Brulatic. This is just a very recent purchase for you. No, this is actually um, was a Christmas gift for my oldest. It's hers. So you don't get it after it leaves the, this episode. Nope. So this is uh, Bru Bruchlotic, and obviously Bru we're, say we're saying it wrong, and there'll be people that will tell us how to say it correctly, and they'll say it nicely, and there's gonna be people in the comments that tell us how to say it correctly rather rudely. And Which be, one are you? And there'll be people that tell us how to say it incorrectly very rudely also because that's what happens in the comments. You have never read the comments in your life. <laughs> so, it, I know we're saying it wrong. It's very difficult. Uh, we're not Scottish. Uh, we're trying, so be nice. So, uh, I do know that I've had, not the classic laddie, but I've had uh, the Port Charlotte and Octomore from the same company. Um, they're great. I think I've had one of the Brulatica. In fact, you may have bought one. I don't remember. Uh, but always impressed. So hopefully we're impressed with this. This is 50% or 100 proof. 50% or 100 proof. Why don't you round that up to 100? I'm going to. I, I round it up every single time. I don't know what the age statement is on this. I couldn't find it. Uh, so if there is an age statement, um, I'm going to say there's no age statement for this episode. But if there is one, definitely leave that in the comments. The price on this is a very reasonable $51.49. That's $51.49. <laughs> Why do you got to watch me right? Because you always put different stuff down there. Oh, he put the right price. See, because I'd usually just round it up to 51.50. Yes. So this is going to be a one barrel. One barrel on cost. But Ooh, my nose is running that. Something's in the air. We're going to take a really quick time out so I can blow my nose. Okay, so we'll be right back. <laughs> Need credits. Is it supposed to look like that? <laughs> No. What? Did you just blow a pea out of your nose? I did. That was a solid green pea. It was a Lego from 1974. <laughs> that one that you stuck up there? No, the one that you stuck up there. <laughs> I, I confess, it was me. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and start this review. Uh, it's 51.49, so that's a one barrel on cost. Now, this is a non-peated... Uh, so this is an Isla non-peated. Yeah, it's very amber and it's like, mm -hmm. the legs are like, it's okay, but it's not like some of the more peated whiskeys have bigger legs. It's got the floral, heather, honey sweetness of oh. a space side to me. Yeah, definitely honey. And it's like, I know generally a little bit of the banana, but very small hints. Actually, let me rephrase that. I think it's more of a green apple. Yeah. And I generally, um, scotches are, 
they've aged in used barrels, but this kind of have a has a new oak barrel. Okay. Because it's not like, <clears throat> it's not like heavy. No, no heavy oak or uh, dark fruitish aspects to it. No, and it's got something that I'm like, it's right there at the tip of my nose, and looks like a. Oh, it's a green pea. It's a green pea. Illegal. <laughs> my wife says toffee. Did you say coffee or toffee? Toffee. Yeah, toffee. Definitely. Caramel, yeah. A little bit of mint. Yeah, just not not uh, spearmint, but mint. Yeah, not heavy either. It's just. Like I say, it's very reminiscent of a space side rather than, or some highlands. Yeah, it's very complex because it nothing really just punches you out. It's got some heat. Does it? I haven't tried it yet. It's crisp. Some heat. Oh yeah, it's got the peppery. Mm -hmm. and it's, Some of that honey sweetness, yeah, but gonna, very I was minimal. Just about ready to say honey. It's got that, you can taste that honey in there. It's, but not, I'm not getting the apple. I would say, you know, you said that before with the aroma and you change it to the apple, but in the taste, there's some of the banana going on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a little bit of, you know, the dried fruit, but not a lot. It's like, this is not fruity at all. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's got a little bit, but... See how water does. Not much on the nose. Brings out a little bit more of the floral. And the thing that I'm noticing, since we're here in Texas, mm -hmm. it's usually like a lot warmer. And we've had a cold snap. This is just like, it's not on ice or anything, but it's, it's cold. Yeah. So that. It's very crisp. It's probably changing the flavor as opposed to if we tried this in like July because it would be a lot warmer. Mm -hmm. So I've always enjoyed this whole company, you know, from the Octomores and Port Charlottes and, uh, the ones I've tried, and I really like this classic laddie, and it's reasonably priced, so I'm gonna have to arm wrestle my kid for it. Uh, I can take her. <laughs> Everybody's saying no. Uh, but I definitely wanna start looking at more of these on the bar. I mean, we have a ton of scotch on the bar. We have a ton of scotch, probably more scotch than we have anything else we got whiskey and scotch and yeah that's pretty much the you mean dominant. yeah american whiskey you mean because you know scotch is whiskey well, without the e he hasn't rated i've rated fours all the way across i think this is a I'm, solid four i i will give you that it's like the water did change it a little bit it made it a little more honey sweetness mm-hmm but it's still, it's still very complex. It is, and it's something that I would enjoy drinking daily type of drink, sitting there watching some TV, drinking away. I really enjoy it. And I, I totally like these complex ones where you just can't really like pick it out because some stuff you just like, right. it's right there, it's bold, and it's like, this is this. Is this. This is well, and it's nice to find a regional 
whiskey that plays outside of the norms because people always think that, you know, Islands have got to be peated and, and Islands got to have a complexity yeah. of the ball. Highlands need to be, you know, more floral and lowlands need to be more blended and stuff like that. And it was nice to find an Isla that's, that they do something different. Yeah. And it makes kind of like, like, what am I, what am I drinking here? Yes. This would be a good one for a blind taste test. Oh yeah. Tell us what you think about it. Uh, what are the other, uh, in the series are Brulotica? Good luck. I'm not sure. We're working on it. I'm not even going to try. Um, I'll visit the distillery one day and they'll teach me. That's on my bucket list. Probably this summer. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not, but I'll try. So, uh, <laughs> tell us what you think. Which one should we try? Uh, any other non-peated Islas that you should uh, let us know about? We definitely want to try to check it out. I'm the... Isla fan, I really like the smokiness, so do you. So just let us know. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And happy International Scotch Day. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is great. really good whiskey. This is great whiskey. Cheers. Cody's cracking me up.